Hello humankind. Stay of Apple Yard here. Um, I'm going to sing you a song. It's a song that I wrote in 2013. Um, August. Back end of August 2013. And it's called Moans of Love and War. Um, yeah, well, here we go. Uh, how did it start? <laughs> It didn't start like this. It didn't start like that at all. I can't remember how it started. There's somebody. Oh 
I'm pleased with that, even though I fluffed it up, it don't matter, does it? <laughs> it don't matter. It's, uh, yeah, it's a song called Mums I've Loved and War. So, it's about a long journey of spirit. Um, who he finally gets to, to, you know, he, he finally finds his way home. Um, having gone through all these trials and he'd lost his way and he didn't realise what he'd become but now he found his refound himself and uh, then it's, it's it's just pointing out that it really is it's a time to realise that we are free we don't have to be slaves to any anyone or anybody free that and and you you free you, you yourself you know free that Take control of the ego, of the ego mind, you know, free that. And that's what this song's all about, you know. Um, a time to reconcile what had to be. We had to, to have the age of Pisces. We, we had to go through the age of Pisces, you know, all about self, all about, you know, the, the polar opposites and the dual polarity and, and all, you know and all that sort of stuff um and it had to be we had to we had to as as the as the universe learning about itself in my opinion if it don't resonate blah 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 all that lot but as the universe learning about itself then you know it, it's it had to be it had to be we had to do that we've had to live like this we've had to go through this Humanity has had to go through this. The humanity has had to go through this. For thousands of years, many years, you know. And we're now at that stage of evolution where we are just doing that, we're evolving. So, you know. And then it carries on with the story saying it's a far cry from those days untold where we hunted for wood to fire the coals. You know. Um, when, when people used to do live that way, they had to. You know that was their warmth, wasn't it? You know that was their meeting place around the fire, tribal, tribal meeting place when they used to have a big fire going. You know, um, and then uh, searching for the life of a distant star. Now, this is interesting. Searching for the life of a distant star, sleeping under moons of love and war. Don't think for one minute, you know, that's only my opinion, like I say, but um, all these wars we've had down here, if it is true that we are multi dimensional beings existing in parallel di dimensions at the same time then what's gone off down here has gone off elsewhere on different levels you know higher consciousnesses oh consciousness consciousnesses <laughs> well my point is and I've actually really given them a right good frigging bollocking about this to be quite honest is if if this, I know it had to be, whatever has happened, it has to be, and whatever we do down here is a, is is felt and reson and is is um, affects the other dimensions and vice versa. So, any wars that's gone off at a higher level than our th third dimension, we we sort of had, that's been on down here as well. And that's a higher consciousness. That's what I struggled with for some time. Was, you know, if there's, there's wars on different levels. Who knows? I'm only talking here. You know, so. But if that's the case, then I, I did. I, I told them that they should be disgusted with themselves. And that's enough. <laughs> Who well, might I say that's enough? I am a representative of the great divine, as each and every single one of you are. 
They won the great divide. We're all, we all have a right to our opinions, we all have a right to our beliefs. And if it resonates with you within, then it's for you. And if it isn't, then it isn't. You know, it's as simple as that, really. There's no point in fighting and falling out about stuff. Have we not learned, after all these wars, after all this separation, after all the suffering and pain that humanity has been through for many, 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 many years, many years, far too many years, because there is nothing more to learn through pain and suffering. Nothing more. On whatever level, there's nothing more to be learned from that. So this is why we've there's, there's this ascension that's happening. So anyway, back to the song. That's my opinion. Back to the song. So, um, so yeah, it was about how it used to be. Um, and then it mentions, you know, about a time to open up and free your mind. A time to cleanse this house of blind. Because we are living, as there's, there's many people who are unawakened who are... Uh, as of yet, who, who don't realise, you know, because of the conditioning. And that's the thing. It's the conditioning, you know. It's the conditioning that we've, we've gone through since birth and previous lifetimes, you know. Um, so, the next verse, the last verse, we only had to take enough to live, taking from the land, but still we give blessings for the life of food we took, knowing in our hearts just where to look. Because they were guided. They were guided by, you know, we are guided by the higher forces of self, or, you know, the great divine. Um, and then it just finishes off with saying it's a time to realise that we are free, a time to reconcile what had to be, it just reiterates, a time to open up and free your mind, a time to cleanse this household blind. It really is a time for us all to wake up, all of us, you know, we need to, we need to wake up and, and, and realise that it's all an illusion, all of it. It really is all an illusion. We are spirits within vehicles in a in a, a a mass play. Each one of us is playing our role in a massive play. And we're here to learn on this university of life. Yeah, that's as I see it. So I think we should be, you know, trying to trying to make this world a better place, all of us, because it's it's been a long time coming. It has, and it's time for change. It's time for us all to change, all of us, all of us, you know. And we are getting help from energies from elsewhere. We're getting flooded with it, absolutely flooded with it. So, if you're out there and you're struggling and you don't know why you feel crappy like that, it's because you, you, you all this stuff's coming up. It's got to come up. I keep saying it in video after video, but it has to do. So do your work. Follow the links below, you know, please. Help yourselves. Help yourselves to become the best version of you that you can become. Anyway, thank you for listening. If you've if you've listened, and uh, if anybody would like to sort of give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, that'd be really well appreciated. Likewise, there's a link below if anybody would like to make any donations to keep the channel going, and uh, you know, just spread the word. Spread the word. Let's see if we can change this world for the better because it needs it all right humankind thank you very much steve appleyard over and out <laughs>